The manufacturers out there, we want you to know that you've been warned. We're looking out and we're here to protect our iconic legacy and the designs that we've created over generations. I'm just starting to think Gibson doesn't want to sell guitars anymore. What's up everybody, Jake here, and that's right, today we're talking about Gibson's video they posted called Stay Authentic. So if you're not familiar, a few weeks ago, Gibson released this video called Stay Authentic. And basically it was a three minute video threatening guitar companies that if they make anything relating to a Gibson, anything at all that has the same body shape, whether it's a hollow body or a single cut, they're going to sue them and they're gonna take their name back. Yeah. Be original, play authentic. And remember, only a Gibson is good enough. Yeah, so I don't know if that was the best approach to all of this. I mean, Gibson has been doing great the past few months. The fact that they dropped the standards down to $2,500 and just made two versions, the 50s and 60s, was genius. However, this isn't going to be a I told you so video, but everybody the past few months has been talking about Gibson's new CEO like he's this incredible god coming to take over, and I had kind of a bad feeling about him because in interviews it was just... People would ask him, how are you going to bring Gibson back? He's like, we're going back to the roots. We're bringing it back. And it was just this endless conversation that didn't seem to go anywhere, which I'm not going to argue is a genius idea to just go back to the basics. But the reason why I wasn't that impressed is anybody would have done that. I mean, you could put a monkey as the CEO of Gibson and they would have went back to the basics. So I wanted to let this guy sit in the position for a while before I judged him. And... Six months in, we get the Stay Authentic Gibson video. I could not believe when I watched this. Gibson pulled it very, very quickly because of the negative responses. So I'm sorry if you didn't get to see it. There is a link of a re-upload. Um, it's very poor quality, but you can see what's going on. I'll link it down below. It'll probably get taken down pretty soon. So if you want to check it out, you should do it now. So then shortly after this video, Gibson announces they're suing Dean. Dean! What? Do they steal the Razorback from Gibson? Yeah, I've got a ton of Gibson Razorbacks. So basically, Gibson's, I think, plan is to, you know, take over the brand. They're the only ones that can make single cut guitars, or double cut, or hollow body. So basically, they're the only people that can make guitars they're trying to make it to seem. And, you know, Gibson's never copied designs from people. Never. Literally never. This video to me came across very hypocritical and just, this is going to do terrible things to the company. They're already spending money they don't have to push this new plan to take back the guitar industry. And I'm not so sure how it's gonna end for them. Like I said, they were doing genius things. I've seen a lot come out from the new line. They got rid of the years. It was more affordable. The colors weren't stupid. But this video alone might just destroy all of that. Because this, to me, someone who has to sell guitars when I'm not making YouTube videos, makes it very tough for me to recommend a Gibson from the JC era because I'm supporting this guy that's trying to take all the fun out of the music industry. I do understand a little bit what they're trying to do. Now, you can go onto like AliExpress or Wish or whatever and buy a guitar that says Gibson, has a serial number, is the identical specs, is just, you know, made of cardboard made in China for like 200 bucks. And that, in my opinion, is a counterfeit. And yes, get those the fuck out of here. That's wrong. That's stealing a design. That's stealing a brand. That's, I mean, stealing people's guitar essentially because they're just jacking serial numbers from the internet. Get rid of those. But brands like Dean and ESP that are making single cut designs, Gibson, you can't patent a shape. You can patent the exact dimensions, but you can't patent a shape. Like, is Gibson just going to patent a circle now? And I'm going to have to get square studio monitors? Like, that's the same thing. You can't patent a shape. The weirdest part about this video, when he was talking to like the movie industry and such, where they would use a Gibson guitar and tape over the headstock, he goes, stop taping over the headstock. We want to work with you. 
They tape over that headstock so they don't have to pay you the ridiculous sums you'd require to use the instrument. And that's not counterfeit. That's just them saving money and saving their own asses. And if anything, that's free advertisement for you. So now, okay, you're losing the fan base you already have. You're throwing away free advertisement. You're making a fool of yourself. It might just be time to sell this damn brand and move on because there's... You're taking the fun out of the music industry, and this is a big part of why it struggles because of stupid moves like this. Now, I know it was just a three minute video, but it was a pretty piss poor three minute video that probably made a lot of Gibson owners feel like shit. I myself owning a Gibson, I don't own one from the JC era, mine's a few years old, but it's like, geez, I'll never buy a new one, that's for sure. Like, there's absolutely no point in it because I'm supporting this asshole. So, we're just gonna have to see what happens. Maybe Gibson's patenting the shape, maybe Gibson's patenting the guitar. Who knows what's gonna happen next, but I have a feeling it's not going to be pleasant. What do you guys think of that video that was posted and everything going on with Gibson right now? Let me know down below. Anyways, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up on this video, and any comments, throw them down below. See you guys later.